Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Scorpio, this is the Beware spread. We've got the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, Death, the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or an Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or with another Scorpio. Well, uh, what you need to be aware of is um, you will have this Queen of Pentacles, an Earth Sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that will cause big issues for you. It could be about both uh, work or finances or about love. Let's talk about work first. Uh, so the Queen of Pentacles in this case is uh, your colleague or uh, it could be somebody who works for a financial institution like a bank. It could be a loan officer if you're asking for a loan, if you're applying for a loan or basically someone who is in charge of finances um, and uh, they will give you the news, a really fast news that uh, something that you hoped for or wished for is not coming through. Um, you could even get into a fight with this person and uh, then you'll feel like you were left out in the cold. And uh, if you are applying for a new job, then that job is not, is not going to come through for you, unfortunately. Um, if we're talking about love, then we still have the Queen of Pentacles, most likely an Earth sign, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And uh, if you are in a relationship with this person right now, then this person will break up with you. They will uh, leave you out in the cold and uh, there will be a fight a fight that will cause a breakup and that's what I think the death card here symbolizes. Uh, I know this is your personal card Scorpio but um, death with the five of pentacles and the five of swords you know this is just the end of a relationship, the end of a connection. Um, it's also possible that you if you are in a relationship with somebody else then that somebody else will leave you for this Queen of Pentacles. Um, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter, but uh, the idea is still the same here. Uh, you're being left out in the cold, somebody is leaving you. Either your significant other is leaving you for somebody else, if this is in the Queen of Pentacles, or the Queen of Pentacles is leaving you for somebody else, or they're just leaving you. Um, yeah, so um, as I always say, if somebody is not in your life anymore, then they weren't meant to be with you. You will find somebody else who is better suited for you. Um, let's take a look at the advice spread. Uh, let's see what the cards have to say about this whole thing for you. Let's talk about the advice or word of wisdom for you in regards to the previous spread, um, Scorpio. We've got the Tower, the High Priestess, the Nine of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, so there isn't really anything you can do to prevent this, uh, Scorpio. This is still coming. We've got the Knight of Cups uh, on the bottom of the deck. This is the Love Offer coming towards... Uh, someone you are involved with right now and that will cause the tower moment. The tower moment is uh, something coming down to the ground, something is burning down, basically that symbolizes the relationship that's being destroyed. And every time I see the tower to me that means that the relationship wasn't good for you anyway, it wasn't built on a solid foundation, it wasn't meant to be. Um, we've got the High Priestess, this is something that's hidden from you, so you're not going to know until the very end when it happens, and when it does happen, uh, you will be really stressed out about it, obviously. That's what the Nine of Swords here represents. This is someone staying up at night, someone who is depressed, and uh, we have the Page of Swords as the outcome. And the Page of Swords is uh, pretty much the uh, very direct communication coming from 
most likely your soon-to-be ex, letting you know that they're leaving you. Well, yeah, there isn't really much you can do right now because we've got uh, two major arcana cards, the Tower and the High Priestess. This is going to happen. Well, now that you're aware of it, uh, um, perhaps you can take some precautions and uh, leave them <laughs> before they leave you. But uh, I never give an advice like this. But um, before you do break up with them, make sure that this story is yours, that the spread is for you and it resonates. Perhaps it's not for you, and uh, but you can always watch my other videos and see what's coming towards you. Um, well, let's take a look at the uh, third spread. Uh, the next thing that's going to make you happy or at least put a smile on your face. Alright, Scorpio, this is the uh, next good thing that will at least put a smile on your face spread. We've got the, face, uh, the Page of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So the first two cards, or the first three cards, well, let's talk about the first two cards first. We've got the Page of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. This is what I was talking about in the first two spreads. These are the news uh, about somebody leaving, and you are feeling left out in the cold in the five of pentacles the eight of cups the card that follows is either that person leaving or this could be you finally um, healing from that and you are walking away from that situation you're leaving that situation behind because you've got something much better coming towards you and that's what we see in the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a golden opportunity. So somebody's going to come forward with this uh, offer. Um, the Ace of Pentacles in my mind is a universal ace. I don't mean to belittle any other aces, but the Ace of Pentacles is like a bundle. It could be about love, finances, basically abundance. This is a, a transition into a brand new life. Um, and we have the Wheel of Fortune here. This is a new cycle starting in your life. It could be a cycle with somebody else or it could be a cycle where you'll just be by yourself. Either way, the future looks bright after this uh, horrendous breakup that you'll have, after you will be feeling left out in the cold. But like I said, eventually you'll be able to move on and uh, start a new cycle. Um, start your new life either by yourself or with somebody else. The Ace of Pentacles usually um, is um, given, the Ace of Pentacles is usually associated with somebody else. That's in most cases, unless it's, uh, unless we're talking about a job or uh, like a business adventure. In that case, the Ace of Pentacles is something you can grab and then develop on your own. And grow on your own but um, if we're talking about love then it's somebody else is coming towards you so um, yeah um, I usually wish to for people to have a great month but I know that this is going to be uh, tough for you Scorpio so hopefully you'll be able to uh, power through it you're a very strong sign um, and like I said you do have something bright in your future. So have a great and fantastic month, Scorpio. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.